entitled Unity in the Hair Community. I am so excited about having my good, good, good friend, Rocky Rogers here. You just don't know. I am so excited. Uh, she just got back from St. Louis, uh, Missouri. I said, Lord have mercy. She told me about that hurricane that was out there. She was like, hurricane. Tornado. Tornado. Uh, in St. Louis. And I was hoping and praying that she would get here on time. So uh, this is actually the first uh, hair augmentation class uh, that we've done at the uh, And when Robbie told me she wanted to talk about doing the class, I said, yeah, let's go ahead and do this class. But I want to make sure that we share some things that, you know, all of us that's weaving now is not aware of, you know. And I don't know about you, but her credentials are very, very strong, you know. Uh, she worked with Biblical Fox for many, many years. I was and you haven't seen the braid pattern. You want to take pictures of it? You can before she puts the net on. Then you'll be able to see. Um, I'll just explain this again. So, according to style, size of head, and the density of the hair is going to determine how you're going to section off the middle part. The lot of stylists, they focus more on Because it's not properly cleansed and antiseptic. That's why I like this line because it has everything in it. I go from one stick all the way to the finishing product. This product. Um, so the more the maintenance you do to the extension, the longer it lasts. I have weeds up here that's been that's four years old. So I brought them so that you can see the hair, the color, the condition, to see that some of them are um, three, four years old. I think the blonde one is the newest one, but I've had these for a long time. But it's you know what I mean? You have to, when your clients come, I don't care what kind of hair they bring you, you have to shampoo. Now, if this needle sucks, I'm going to go underneath. Okay. I just have to do some more. I was just getting ready to ask you, um, is it sometimes you, um, trying to go through the wet when you can't go through the wet, or do you never go through the wet to, or do you just, um, go underneath because you said right now your needle is sucking? No, I always go underneath. Okay. And I always go through. I bought new needles. When I'm creating that knot at the end of the trap, that even as close as I cut to the knot, sometimes I'll feel like when I go through and rub down, not like it's been real smooth, I'll feel that little bump, that little knot on the tip. Is there a different way to tie it? Well, what I do is I'll try to get, take it, my needle right before you get to the very end mm -hmm. and go through it, but then I come back. So you did her basically. Now it's they're in football. It's like two strips on each side and then two at the top around the hair that's left out and then there it's a football. So that way it'll evenly distribute the weight of the hair instead of it making it be You see what I'm saying? So you have to be the judge of facial shape and how you want it to look and how you're gonna cut the bangs in your mind to where you want it to stop. Because you don't want to put like, you know, that wispy kind of bang that cuts around like that, and it starts from way back here. That's gonna look crazy. It, it gives the effect of a cone head, even though it's not, because it's back too far. So you gotta put your hair, I always put hair in front of a closure. I never put a closure in the front. I like, use like a, a nice volume, yeah, I like that, a level nine or something like that. Um, I do, the, um, I always do a double ash, because the hair pulls up red pulls up a lot of red, so I try to cut the red meat. And then, excuse me, can you explain the importance of washing that hair and conditioning that hair before you put it on somebody's head? The reason why is because the hair has preservatives on. You know, mm -hmm. and then some, you know, if it's packaged hair. If it's virgin hair, you know, people shampoo it. You don't know what they shampoo the hair with. You know, you know your products. You know the products that work for you and what the response is. Gonna 
Thank you.